All right, you ready for Wreck on the Roof? I am ready. Let's get started. All right, inspired by surfing and the natural beauty that surrounds this amazing sport, artist Ed Obermeyer makes it his life passion to share his vision with others. Simply put, Ed Obermeyer is stoked. Stoked on life, surfing, and his love of art. Learn more about Ed Obermeyer in his own words in this week's edition of Wreck on the Road. I've just been excited about the water. I like the, the infinite expanse out there in the water where you can just see forever. Whereas when I'm in the mountains, it, it seems limited. I always want to get over the mountain and see what's, what's over the mountain, you know? And, and in the ocean, it's like, well, I'm trying to look over the next set to see the next mountain of water that's moving and to be able to dance on the mountain of water that's actually moving and then capture it on canvas is really special. My name is Ed Obermeyer and I'm a painter and I've been inspired by Aboriginal culture and surfing and world travel and recently world travel to Panama and I'm doing a lot of acrylic paintings about Panama. A lot of them are about surf and the ocean life that I'm very passionate about as well as gardening. I started surfing in 1964 and I used to hitchhike down to Virginia Beach and go surfing and there sometimes come with my family and uh, been passionate about it ever since. I was WRV surf team captain for many years. I was with the ESA for about 25 years. I was WRV's airbrusher for almost 30 years and, and I've been a, a local favorite airbrusher in this area since the early 70s. And uh, I taught school for 34 years and kept surfing and kept doing art shows, the Boardwalk Art Show, the Neptune Show, and all those shows while I was a teacher, art teacher. I just like using my, my hands. I have to feel the surface, you know? Feeling the surface is pretty important. I'm also influenced by cultures of all types. Uh, I went and traveled to Australia and created my own independent project with the superintendent's permission. After I studied Aboriginal culture, I really got excited about the marking and the symbolism and, and how it tells a story. Because all art basically tells a story of some sort. And all of my pictures have a story. And each time somebody comes to my booth at one of these art fairs or museum gallery exhibitions, I try to explain that story to them. You know, some people are alcoholics. I'm a brushaholic. I get into brushes. It's like, oh, I gotta have that one, man. What, what makes surfing so exciting and seeing a wave, like when you're paddling out in, in Panama recently, for example, there'll be double, triple overhead waves coming in. The first thing that goes through your mind is, oh my God, I'm gonna die. You know, because I can't hold my breath, but so long and this thing, this mountain of water is coming at me and there's just billions of little dots of light and flashes of light and, and the sun's hitting the wall of the wave. And it's just, it's like this gorgeous turquoise bomb just coming at you, ready to explode on top of your body. And you make it, you, you realize that it's, it's just water, I can live through this. I try to spread the word about the excitement about surfing through collaboration with other artists. So that, that's kind of a neat thing. And then incorporating that Aboriginal marking and symbolism with dots and crosshatch lines and x-ray views of things and developing your own unique signature with painting. You know, I've created my own signature pattern of swirling little lines and dots that was at first influenced by Aboriginal art but now it's become a voice of its own. And it just sort of flows by itself with all these little pinstripe brushes. I paint every day. You know, there, there's not a day I'm not painting. It's how I relax. People tell me to relax and slow down, but I, I can't because life is so exciting. I just want to capture all of it on canvas while I'm still on this planet. I think I have a, a purpose here and it's to make this art and to show people the beauty of the ocean or the beauty of the gardens around us and, and just the world in general is, is a beautiful place. I'm a, I'm a bleeding heart optimist, so I like seeing things positively and sharing that with others. All right, as you can see, Ed says he paints every day. It relaxes him. He also says making a living on your artwork is hard work. He does every bit of the legwork to make ends meet. Ed collaborates with many photographers, including John Wright, Paul Stevens, Mickey McCarthy on the Outer Banks, Sean Davey in Hawaii, Richie Arizmina in Panama. He encourages all of you to support local artists. You can see much more of Ed's work at the Artist Gallery at Norfolk Avenue in Virginia Beach, or you can go to Ed Obermeyer. Dot com. I like you, that. Um, you like his work? The turquoise bomb that explodes all over yeah. your body. Yeah. Can you tell he's stoked? Ooh. I mean, that oh, is the yeah. definition. No, he's I, so, you know, it's so all about lucky. surfing. He combines like two of his passions, surfing, yeah. he you know, the ocean it. and his, his art. That's he loves amazing. it. 